So I was going to start this vlog a very different way. I kind of had a whole plan to start it tomorrow morning and show you guys my workout and stuff, but change of plans happened and Alex just called me and said, hey, what are you doing the rest of the day? Do you have anything like super important you're doing? Because my boss decided he didn't want to work today and he rented a boat for four hours. So I'm gonna go on a boat today. It does look a little cloudy, so hopefully it doesn't rain. Cloudy days are usually great for boating because it's not super hot the whole time. I am in my boating attire. Very chill outfit. No one's like getting ready for anything. They don't even have their suits. So they're just gonna sit on this boat for four hours and just relax. And I actually have a little bit of a cold or I'm like recovering from a cold. So I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm a little congested still. So I think this day off from work would be nice. But yeah, I'm gonna bring my cooler bag full of food. I have that packed already and my trusty half gallon of water just so I can have that for the rest of the afternoon. And yeah, let's go boating. his work attire, sweat shorts on a boat. made a very big mistake in thinking that my tanning lotion had SPF in it. Definitely did not have sunscreen. Ow. Regardless though, it was so fun. Oh my gosh, my eggs are on the stove, I forgot. Also, my face looks very discolored and I think it's the tanning stuff I put on my face. Should not have put it around here, but oh well. I just finished my cardio um, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to make this a vlog, like a normal day in the life kind of vlog because I have something I want to announce and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it in a vlog like this or in my Q&A video, which I'm also gonna film today. And I might just put the two together because people have been asking questions about what I'm trying to announce. And a lot of you guys were asking in my Q&A question box on Instagram if I am competing in a bikini competition? And the answer is yes. I am competing in my very first bikini competition. Oh, I'm so excited. I am officially 10 weeks out. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to announce it right off the bat in this vlog or if I wanted to wait and put this vlog up till after my Q&A because it was being asked a lot in the Q&A, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to answer it then. But I think I'm just gonna say it now and turn this into a vlog slash bikini competition announcement slash Q&A because sometimes I like sitting through like full Q&A videos, but if they're more than four or five minutes long, I just lose interest personally. So I wanted to make this a little more of an interesting video as well, so you kind of like get a day in the life vlog and Q&A at the same time. So I just finished up my cardio that I have to do before I eat anything. And I also sent in my check-in pictures to my coach this morning too. So I'm waiting on, she said she was giving me an extra push. So that basically means less food, more cardio, most likely. So 
I will update you guys on what she says when I get that updated plan back. Um, but right now, I'm going to eat my breakfast, get ready, do something with this discolored face and this little friend that decided to show up. I am like three days out from my period, so I always know I'm getting close to actually starting my period when I get breakouts, especially on my face, because I never break out otherwise. But yeah, I will update you guys when I get that plan back from her. Okay, lighting's not the best, but this is my breakfast. It's a bunch of egg egg whites, onions, mushrooms, and spinach to bulk it up, strawberries with some stevia to make it sweeter, and then I have one piece of toast and I put coconut oil on it, and then I put salt on one side and then cinnamon and stevia on the other to make it kind of like a cinnamon sugar kind of toast. Texas peat hot sauce and that sugar-free veggie ketchup that I've used in the past. Even though my coach has been lowering calories steadily throughout the last several weeks, she has kept breakfast completely the same, so I still get the same amount of food every day that I have been since I basically started prep. I will go over some more details in the Q&A section of this video, but I started with my coach. I met her through a friend at the gym. Started with her about 16 weeks out. So I've been with her for about six weeks, which is like almost two months now, which is crazy. I'm already seeing so much change in my body without feeling like super lethargic and hungry, which is great. The hunger is definitely kicking in now um, because we are getting a little closer to the show date, which is August 27th. I'm just glad that I still have the same amount of food for my breakfast in the morning because I'm usually really hungry first thing. Especially after doing cardio, I'm like starving, which I am now and I actually really wanna go eat. So I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I am so excited to share this journey with you finally. It's been like almost two months of actually knowing I'm gonna do a competition and not being able to say anything because I wanted to wait until I was like 12-ish weeks and then for some reason 12 weeks came and went and I was like, wait, we're at 10 weeks now and I haven't said anything yet. So I'm finally able to tell you guys and now that you guys know, I'm just gonna probably post weekly updates on this prep and possibly more as it gets closer to the date, but just taking you guys on this journey with me. This last six weeks have gone by so fast so this show is gonna be here in no time. Okay, still haven't heard back from my coach on diet updates yet, so we are sticking with the lunch that I've normally been eating the last few weeks. It's just rice, green beans, mushrooms, onions, a little bit of chicken and avocado, and then I topped it with a crap ton of seasonings and hot sauce and ketchup. I've been extra hungry, I think, because I'm about to start my period, I'm like PMSing, and I just wanna eat everything, so I added extra frozen green beans and mushrooms to give it some more volume. I never read books, but this is when the books I have come in handy. I can use them as a tripod instead. Okay, so update on my plan. My coach got back to me and we aren't doing a whole lot of things different. She's just decreasing carbs a little bit and adding like five minutes of cardio. Something that I have noticed with prep, I thought it would be just like miserable the entire time. It's such a minimal decrease in calories or increase in cardio or whatever that you don't really notice. It's not like you're going from no cardio to an hour all at once, like you gradually go up and that's something that I'm actually learning a lot about as well and like my own body and how it responds to the slightest little tweak in my diet or my workout. So yeah, nothing major yet. I did switch some supplements because we are one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, nine weeks out. Oh my gosh, this is going so fast. You, you would think like nine weeks from now, that's like more than two months. But this last month and a half has gone by so quickly. Like, I feel like the show is just gonna be here in no time. Okay. Wow, that just got really real for me. Yeah, okay, so before I start this Q&A, I figured I would just go into a little more detail on my competition because a lot of people have been asking me and I think it might answer some of your questions about like my training program and my diet and being in a deficit and all that. It might tie in to a lot of the questions I've been asked. Yeah, one girl asked, sharing your approach would be great, like how big or gentle is your calorie deficit? Honestly, I think I just kind of mentioned it, but the gentle approach, instead of going like, okay, I'm gonna do an hour of cardio, 30 minutes of hit every single day without stopping, like 
intense changes like that will yes shock your body and you might lose like a pound or two and you might see some good changes in the first couple weeks but then you're one gonna burn out and two your body gets stressed and like holds on to things more than it would if you were just really gentle and gradually decreased you know the first like month it didn't even feel like I was in a deficit. She actually started me higher than I was eating before. I started prepping with her. We were like 16 weeks out and she increased my calories by like 400. And so I was eating at like higher than I was used to. Like I thought I wasn't in a deficit, but then she upped it and I was dropping weight. So I think it just like my body was stressed from all the intense workouts I was doing and trying to be in a deficit that was a little too harsh. She said, I'm currently finding gentle approaches serve well even though I'm eating more than before and working out less and losing weight. You're spot on. A lot of girls especially, and guys too, I know plenty of guys that think this, but like it's just drilled into our heads with diet culture that if we want to see results, it has to be like fast results and you need to like lose a pound a day every time you check the scale and cut a ton of calories calories all at once or start to burn a ton of calories all at once and ends up killing your progress in the long run. Even though you might see results like in the first little bit, it will stop and then you'll have to literally decrease to the point where you're starving and exhausted and miserable unless you just gradually go down. So I'm looking forward to your coaching offers. Ow. Okay, so I actually, I'll answer that in a second. I am working on a few things, but one of them is to be able to offer coaching of some kind in the near future. So stay tuned for that. I did, I don't know if a lot of people know this, I didn't really announce it, but last year around February, I hired another coach online um, and she was great too, but I ended up like realizing before we even got into the legit prep that I, my body was not ready to be in a further deficit for that long, especially for a prep. It gets to be very intense towards the end and I feel like my body just would not have responded very well and I needed to do a reverse diet. So I did that and it was honestly like the same thing I was talking about with the deficit, like gradually in decreasing calories. I did that same thing with reverse dieting for six to seven months. So I tracked everything I ate, increased calories by like 50 to 100 every week, eventually got my metabolism to the point where I could cut calories and it wouldn't be like as drastic as it probably would have been last year if I had done a show. And I feel like my body's responded so well, like better than I, it ever has in my life really. And I really attribute that to one, this coach and like the gentle approach that she's doing, but also the fact that I took like eight to nine months off of restricting and just let my body breathe and focus on feeding it and got my metabolism up to the point where it would trust me to lose fat once I started decreasing again. Honestly, if I can be completely honest with you, the show itself and like the glam about it will be fun, but that's not what I'm most excited about. Like I'm not as stoked to get my bikini or my jewelry or my hair done or all that. Like I'm just excited to see how my body responds and learn more about my body just in general so I can have this info for life. And I think it's just insanely cool that the human body is capable of something like this. And bodybuilding has just like completely changed my mind about fitness and like just the way I view my body in general. But yeah, I, I just love the science behind it. Honestly, that's the thing that's drawn me to this show and this way of living really, like the whole bodybuilding community, the feeling of working so hard and putting all of this mental energy and physical energy and effort into something like this and then seeing it slowly start to pay off is huge. I could do a, a different like prep Q&A if you guys want and if you have more questions, but I just had several people ask me if I was doing one and ha like they also asked a few other questions on my, my training and things. So I figured it would be nice to just incorporate that into this Q&A while I'm already sitting down talking. Let's get on to the questions though, because I have quite a few. Do you eat three solid bigger meals a day or do you have snacks as well? So I eat three-ish hours apart. So I'll wake up in the morning, do my cardio, eat breakfast, wait a few hours, and then eat lunch. And I like to save my snacks for, one of them is a post-workout. So whenever I work out, which is usually the evening, but my other snack is between lunch and dinner. Something with snacks though, I kind of treat them like smaller meals. They're not like, a little apple. I always have 20 
to 25 grams of protein with snacks too. Same goes for meals, but I will try to keep my protein consistent with every snack and meal. Favorite high protein snack? I did post one the other day on my, I put it on a healthy snacks story highlight on my Instagram. So you get a caramel rice cake or a chocolate one. Mix some peanut butter or PB Fit, like the peanut butter powder, with a little bit of protein, like a fourth of a scoop, and then a little bit of liquid if you need it, just like add some water in there. Make it a paste and put it on the rice cake and then put strawberries on it. And then I just have the rest of my full scoop of protein in like shake form with it, but it tastes, the peanut butter mixture tastes like Reese's to me. Reese's, Reese's. We said this in the last video, I don't know how to say that, Reese's? It tastes like Reese's filling. Savory snacks, again with the rice cakes, I, I really like putting either on rice cakes or you could do like pita or some kind of wrap, but I will have that carb source and then I'll put like light mayonnaise on it. I, I can't do this now because I'm in prep and I'm a little more strict, but normally the light mayo, veggies, turkey, like deli turkey, and then pickles and it's kind of like an open-faced sandwich i'll have a couple of those that's really good for protein and it's also carbs and fat so it's a good balance i really eat the same things every day so my imagination is kind of limited when it comes to like thinking of different things on the spot because that's just what i eat every day is rice cakes <laughs> recommended workout app i honestly don't really use workout apps the only app that I do use for workouts um, is for my HIIT cardio in the morning. I'll do intervals. I think I mentioned this in like a few vlogs ago, but it's the second app and it's just where you can set up like interval timers, but it doesn't tell you the type of workout to do. In the past, when I've bought workout programs, it's never really been an app form. It's been an ebook. Little hint for you guys. Um, speaking of workout programs, I'm working on something. Not sure when it's gonna come out because I'm doing this all on my own but I'll just leave that there. I already answered this question, but it just made my day and I wanted to include it in here because it was so sweet. This girl asked, are you a Christian? I love your clean and wholesome content. It's hard to find these days. That meant so much to me because I really tried to just be like authentic and real. I don't try and act like some fitness influencer who's always perfect. I don't want to just post selfies, like ab pics all day, you know? I, I want to post things that people actually are going to find helpful things that actually inspire other people to better themselves and start their own fitness journey. So yes, I am a Christian. My parents have actually been worship pastors, so they've sang at churches my entire life. I actually sing. I know that wasn't a question, but it runs in the family. My whole family's musical. So I've sang at church as well growing up my whole life. What made you start a YouTube? Honestly, I've wanted to start one for years. I've thought about it and I've, I don't know, just thought like it would be so fun to make videos, but I've been too nervous to start because I didn't want to be like a newbie with no followers. Oh, I make YouTube videos, but I have five subscribers. Follow me. Like getting past that insecurity of caring what people think and not knowing what I was doing that was keeping me from actually posting a video for years. Like don't wait to start a YouTube channel. Don't wait to start posting till you get good. Just post something. Thing. It's not gonna be your best work, especially your first several videos. You're getting the hang of it. You're getting used to talking to a camera. I'm still kind of weirded out by it. Sometimes like I always look at this thing and I'm supposed to be looking at you. Know that I have a lot of information and encouragement that I can create and give to people. And I've kind of showcased that on social media. Following somebody on Instagram who doesn't have YouTube versus someone that does make vlogs, it's just like so much more personal. Like you feel like you know them on a deeper level, you know? What is your workout schedule? So right now, I guess I should have said that when I was talking about my workout earlier. I'm doing, she switched up. I was doing like one plan for about six weeks, just trying to progressively overload, like add a little bit of weight each week to all my workouts. She just switched it up to a little more intense, honestly. Day one is legs and back. Day two is shoulders and triceps. Day three is glutes and biceps. Day four, legs and calves. Day five, shoulders and back. Day six, glutes and arms. Do you drink? No, not really. I mean, I have before, obviously, but I actually don't enjoy it. It has to be a very sweet, girly drink for me. Otherwise, like if I could taste the alcohol at all, 
I don't want it. I've never really been one to drink a lot anyway, just going out with friends and like, not getting drunk, but like just having a drink because everyone else is having a drink. Every time I would have one, I would just feel like, I don't enjoy this, I don't want this, I'm just drinking it because everyone else is. So I just decided I'm not gonna drink probably anymore. Like very rarely, maybe on vacation I'll have something, but, and it doesn't make me feel good. I feel like I'm more fatigued, like my workouts suck after I drink. So it's just like a lose-lose for me. <laughs> Not saying drinking is bad, like if you don't, if you're not affected by it, by all means, have it on occasion, but me personally, I don't really drink ever. How I film my YouTube videos. I can't show you because it's recording, but I'm recording on a Canon G7X Mark II, and I have a little Joby tripod that's really cool. I can link my equipment below if you want, like in the description box, the things that I use, but that's pretty much it. I have an external microphone too that I'll use sometimes, but this microphone is pretty good if I'm at home by myself. Tips for beginners. If you're talking about just being a beginner in the gym in general, start slow. Don't try to exhaust yourself and say I'm gonna work out five days a week when you've never worked out or like you have a hard time getting yourself to work out multiple times a week. Don't tell yourself you're gonna start with five days. Start with like two or three every other day or something like say i'm gonna work out monday wednesday friday and stick to that so it becomes more of a routine it's not like oh did i work out yesterday oh uh, i don't know like maybe should i work out tomorrow or the next day like you know what days you're gonna work out and what days you're gonna rest and be realistic with yourself because so many people will say okay i'm gonna start this plan i'm gonna lose x amount of weight work out every day and then eventually burn yourself out and then you don't set foot in the gym for like six months because you burnt yourself out and you hated every minute of the plan that you put yourself through. Find something that you enjoy. I highly recommend weight training or some type of like resistance training because that's what actually builds muscle and gives you the muscle tone that you're looking for. Tone is not really like a word that I like to use. Be realistic, create a plan for yourself and a realistic goal and potentially like a goal date. Like by Christmas this year, I want to have lost 10 pounds, 15 pounds. Try to create a habit more than like a program that you feel like you have to do, that you're dragging yourself to the gym to do. Just find something that works for you and stick to it. I think the biggest thing for beginners is just to be consistent. It's going to suck sometimes, you're not gonna feel like it. I don't feel like working out half the time. You're not gonna always want to show up to the gym and that's normal, so get that into your head before you start because it's not always gonna be yeah let's go crush it at the gym like some days you're gonna be exhausted and you're just going to want to sit down with a bag of doritos and watch tv but that's why i said to have certain days and times that you're working out every day so you can say okay it's five o'clock on a monday i'm going to the gym this is my gym time and even if the workout isn't as good at least you showed up at least you're getting some kind of workout in at least you're moving your body Body in some degree and that's what's going to make your workouts and your fitness journey sustainable but just as long as you're showing up I think is the biggest thing what are my go-to sweet treats when I'm traveling right now I don't have sweet treats unless my coach says that I can my sweet treat for the day is usually my cereal for post-workout he didn't say healthy sweet treats though so does that mean anything counts sour candies are my favorite I don't know if we should even get on this tangent right now because I have been obsessed with food <laughs> and like putting together a list of foods and like treats that I'm gonna buy for myself after my show. I love Sour Patch, Sour Strips, like those Sour Strip, the company Sour Strips, I think is what they're called. I've literally eaten like two bags in one day before and anything chocolate peanut butter. I will eat anything chocolate peanut butter, especially Reese's and white chocolate. Reese's is my favorite. Cookies are a go-to, but they have to be like the thick cookies. They can't be just normal thin ones. Like, have you seen those thick ones? Oh, we can't even, guys, no. We can't. First thing that comes up on my feed is a cookie. I do this to myself, I follow so many people. <sighs> but I'm trying to find the best ones that I wanna order for my show. I'm gonna show you guys. This is like the definition of my sweet treat. They don't have one of these near me, but it's called Baked Bear, and I've had it in California before. If I was traveling, I would pick like some kind of chocolate peanut butter candy or sour strips. But if we're talking like favorite sweet treats, guys, like, are you serious? No joke, this is what I look at on a daily basis on Instagram. <laughs> cookies, like 
warm cookies with ice cream, like as an ice cream sandwich. I don't even have words, they're so good. I think that's everything. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth video on like prep questions specifically, I can do that. This is my first competition and I'm only nine weeks out. So I don't have all the answers. I don't have like the full experience just yet, but that's why I wanted to start these YouTube videos as well. Cause I knew I was gonna compete at some point and I am so excited to take you guys on this journey with me. If you have any questions or video suggestions that you want me to film, please comment them below so I know what you guys want to see. Give this video a like so I know to put out more content like this. It really supports my channel so I'd appreciate it. And also hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya!